Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to A Hat in Time. In the last part, we got our 14th time piece and turned off all the lava faucets from Mafia Town. Now, we have unlocked this, which I believe is the last main area. Power has been restored in the basement. The Alpine Skyline is now available. A very interesting one, uh, to the point where you actually can't get to it without the uh, grappling hook. Uh, and then we've got this, which apparently you can't get into uh, without the... What's it called? Um, the Dweller's Mask. So it's, it's definitely, it feels like an, an, an end game area. And you can see it's very cold. There's lots of ice around here. So let's take a look. What's the first act? The first act is free roam. Do whatever you'd like. It's interesting. This is the first one where you don't have really an objective yet. Um, you may find one along your way, but it's just you can free roam in this area and collect everything you can find. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping you find the new hat yarn, because every world has had a hat. I'm gonna say the sprint hat is in fact the like mainlands area. Also, this place looks really much more destroyed than I was expecting. Um, like I'd say the uh, brewer's hat is Mafia Town. I'd say the sprint hat is the spaceship, um, all things considered. Because so we can jump on these bushes. That's important to keep in mind for later. Um, and what's the next one? The next one was uh, the ice hat, which was unlocked once we got to um, uh, the Battle of the Birds. Oh, I've I've glitched again. Let's see if changing my settings will fix that. Uh, I'm not moving. Is the issue? Um, so let's switch that again. Confirm, see if that solves the problem. No, I'm going to be stuck apparently not moving for this entire part, which at least will be interesting. Oh, for some reason it didn't. I'm going to put that back up. We aren't very high, but we're at least uh, more performance based because you've seen it chugs a bit when we do it. So we're going to be stuck in a really weird uh, looking gun the entire time. No walk animation for us. We look so silly. I'm, I'm gonna keep it just because of that. I, I was debating popping out and um, refreshing so we actually can get, oh, um, our stuff, but, okay, we're sprinting now. Sprinting super fast. So apparently there are some spiders that are gonna come in after us for this, but I don't think it's anything we have to worry about. And you can see already there's more um, graphical glitches and some of the stuff that's been dropping. Um, um, I also can't attack. That's actually going to be a problem later. Because, um, yeah, if I'm, I'm holding the attack button, it just pulls out the umbrella and points it forward. So, we may have to wind up restart. Yeah, and there's a bunch of graphic glitches here. I don't know what's causing this, it might be on the computer, yeah, so we can't hit these. And this is where you're supposed to see um, the faucet sort of thing. So we're going to go back to hub, and we're going to try that right again. I'm going to cut that out, because, well, not being able to do anything kind of defeats the purpose. Alright, so first things first, we can move, we can uh, attack, let's go back and look right at us. We already saw free roam. So we'll head back to the fairly dreary place that you can see. And we'll, you can see we can actually zip line using some of these um, banner things. So like what we used to walk on, we can also apparently zip line with. So do we have our animation and everything right now? We do, and we can attack. 
Alright, that means we will be able to handle this area that we're coming up on. Now if the pawns look inconsistent, one, you're paying a lot of attention, uh, and two, that's because uh, we wound up not having any animations when we're going through here, and I can see why. I can see it chugging even with where we're at. So uh, let's head to settings. I'm going to unfortunately have to drop it to the lowest at this point, which is uh, interesting. The other areas didn't have very visual chugging, at least on the main playing time. Come on. Alright. Um. But yeah, we, we didn't even have a walk animation. Oh. We do three? Yeah. Three rings will open a door. So let's sprint up. Yeah, we. It was literally um, the character stuck in the standing still pose as they were quote unquote running up the area. Which looks hilarious. Um, but. Isn't that useful? And we found out when we got reached this guy, uh, we couldn't attack. Which is the only reason we didn't keep that, because I thought it was it looked pretty entertaining. However, it doesn't work if you can't do anything. Also, if you look out in the distance, you can see what looked to be giant um, ram people. But unfortunately, yeah, all the nice design here is gone thanks to having to drop my performance. But we'll hit this twice and it's, it's not all the way down. Just need to do that with the rest of them. It's a shame we did the um, lava fall one because originally you wouldn't know uh, that these things with their weird symbols are all stuff you're supposed to hit with your um, umbrella. And it makes the zipline area, which, not gonna lie, this seems pretty backwards, but it looks pretty awesome. Look at that. Look at this beautiful area. And will not let you kill yourself, because I let go of the, the hook shot, usually that would stop it. Uh, but it won't let you do that uh, while you travel between areas. And we can see some light off on the distance, just up in front, in that birdcage area. But nowhere else, no other lights that we can see, so that might be our first target. Uh, yeah, no light over by the that bell, no light anywhere. Really. Oh, there's one. Up on top of that lava. Uh, well, we, we just did lava. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of... It almost killed me. It almost threw me off the cliff. But we're in a much more vibrant place now. The other area was nice and know dead. Much about the goats up here, but we tried to give them a walk. If you get in their way, tend to be a bit pushy. All right, we will keep that in mind. Um, the goats will push us if we get too close to them. And you can see over on that side, there is a big glow. There's a lot of these big glows. I think there's four that you'll be able to see in this area. Uh, those are the timepieces. So, we want to do what we can. So blow those horns. There are horns in this area that will unlock new paths. Uh, and as such, we don't have the way to get to very many places right now. But that does look like something we want. The old windmill is this way. The old windmill is that way. Well, can't get there yet. But, I want this. The time stop yarn requires 32 yarn to stitch. We have 10. It's going to be a bit. Welcome, young. Oh, but still no new items. Maybe we have to purchase a few of them before uh, it will give us access. Um, do we see any horns near here? Because I'd love to just to use a horn and be done with it and go to that one. Just fall to your death apparently. So that's the correct solution to that puzzle. Oh they've got water up here, that's good. The 
Did you look at faraway peaks? Well, this one's kind of boring. There doesn't seem to be anything over there. But it'd be weird if that's the only one that has no um, time piece or right. Oh! Guy does not like us landing next to him. Must be one of those big goats that they mentioned beforehand that are very pushy. Uh, thank you, Umbrella, randomly. I guess we have to go this way because um, I can't seem to handle the other way. So this one's going to be a big one since we've so far not found really any way to go. We know that there are um, the timepieces out there. Thank you. Uh, the umbrella is very helpful here, uh, stopping me from taking damage from falls. Kind of useless when everything's a bottomless pit, though. Uh, very helpful when we only have one heart left, though. So if we take a look in this one, that's where we'll see, yes, there is a timepiece over there. However... Um, yeah, see, below those horns. There, there are no horns near you. I don't see one in front of you that you might be looking at, but I will keep it in mind. I guess we still have to go further up. So we blow this red horn, and the blue path opens. Oh, and the, okay, all of them open. I was gonna say, I'm like, I thought it would only open the red one, because that kind of makes sense. And a green one. So that's five different routes we have out now. Because there was a yellow, a uh, blue, a green, and orange thing. We've cleared Goat Village. So, because it's free roam, it's gonna tell us whenever we've cleared the area more so than, um, got a timepiece or anything like that. So let's head over to, well we just spent a lot of time in Mafia Town, let's head to Lava. You can swing left and right in this case, uh, doesn't help too much except to make you avoid more pawns. The sizzling lava split. So, if we look, we can see there's one up there. Alright, since we want to go towards the lava, I think we should go towards the lava. It's even up. Thanks, game. It's even hotter towards the right. I think the left is the way we should go. Or, I guess we just are going to die up a bunch in this level before we get to that. Alright, so, if we head to this side, there already is a path we can take, and it seems to be leading us over towards the, the birdcage area. Mystifying Time Mesa, oh no. Yeah. This way doesn't lead to any uh, we can't use this one, unfortunately. Uh, Mystifying Time Mesa, you can tell by the name of the, well, Time Stop Yarn. Uh, we'll probably need that to be able to um, use this area. So we just gotta bounce to here. And at least it, it's going a little easier this trip. Um, and 
And the second I say that, it stops going easier. This heat is great. All right, next area. I think we're gonna die again. Because you can see on these guys. I'll hit this one, I'll hit this one. And it wasn't giving me the prompt for that last one. Ooh, lava cake. More lava based stuff. Ah. It's gonna go well, I think. Ember Summit has one treasure in it. So that is important to keep in mind for future reference. Doesn't look like we've passed it already. It would be pretty bad if the treasure was the first thing we saw in this area. But we've got to keep in mind there is one treasure here. Um, and it can be anywhere in this uh, summit area. Thankfully, checkpoint, so that's gonna save us a bit of time. And the blasting of that, um, the cult uh, timepiece is very, very easy to see. Even though it doesn't openly say it's a timepiece, it's a big shiny object. The only shiny objects we're after right now are timepieces. So. This looks suspicious. Let's head that way. Now, I wish it was just as simple as uh, hopping onto this thing. Because for some reason they put the four. Oh. Well, goodbye. Thankfully, yeah, the checkpoint. I'm not going to worry about that. It looks suspicious, it can stay suspicious. This is going to be where you get to learn all of your um, jumping moves and such. We're off to the Lava Cake, which I think is, is its actual name, even though they just... Alright, the Lava Cake. Alright, it is. So one gimmick we can see already is falling and raising pillars. They teach you it in nice, cool water before they start with anything else, though. And from here, let's launch over. The fun begins. Brewer's hat and actually destroy things. Eh, not worth enough, I suppose. Oh, the top hurts you too? I'm sorry, the top looks like it's just a safe cushion to stand on. That's not good. Unfortunately, these guys, you don't have to jump on, but you can hit them with your um, umbrella still, so it's not too, too bad. We have finished the first floor of the Lava Cake. And it's like a full heal there, too. As well as another piece of time stop here, so if you didn't get the one we ran into earlier. Uh, you would still have this one as an option, uh, just to get it unlocked. Uh, provided you somehow already have uh, 31 other pieces. I believe it. A safe place for a child to be, indeed. We can launch up. Now on this floor, it's going to be important that we... we take the wrong way, I guess, to start things off. Which I guess is this way. 
we're gonna use our ice hat to get over here. So there is some treasure on this peak. So of course we have to go attack it. The only downside with Oh well. Oh, we actually managed to reach it. I didn't expect that. Downside with treasure is it tends to be in hard to reach areas. Alright, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll spin all the way around so that we have a chance of getting. Oh, too far. Too far. Chance of getting this cleared. Okay, we actually made it. That's a bit surprising. Alright, I was trying to use the dash on the top one, it wasn't doing anything, so I tried on the bottom one. Don't use the dash. Do not use the dash. Where is it going to respawn me? Oh, right here. Perfect. We can head back after this treasure again. I've got to get better at platformers. That's that's one thing I've decided. Um, because, man, do I... Uh, does uh, wall jumps not make sense to me? That's... Uh, one thing I can say. Uh, let's spin all the way around again. Do I have to get there without using my double jump so I have it after? No, because without the double jump, we don't make it. And now I, I know we have access to basically everything at this point, so it's not that um, we're not using the right hat or anything. The hats aren't going to change anything. Sprint gets you a little bit longer if you're running jumping. Uh, brewing's not going to change anything, and neither is um, Dwellers, in this case. Dwellers may change something in the future. Yeah, I, I had to do it before. Oh, we got it that time. Uh, you know what? I'll take the damage. Uh, that, if that gets me across, it gets me across. Goodbye, birds. And our treasure for our deaths is a rift token. But I thought it would say this area is complete, but I guess it counts as the lava cake still. So let's head back down. And we'll fly back over to the lava cake, which we're actually going the right way now. You can see there's only two more heights after this. I think I spy some treasure. You're wrong. Oh. Almost just jumped to our death there. That went good. But at this point, we are safe. We can go to the, the uh, second last, I guess, area. Well, Dweller's Mask it is. And at the end of this knife is a brewing yarn, just in case. Just in case you've made it to this point of the game and haven't collected four yarn yet. Uh, though it is telling me I do want to, any place that we do have Dwellers, stuff is probably change out the umbrella for uh, the quick charge. Oh, this isn't going to end well. I was going to say, that is not going to end well. Fortunately, they come up pretty quick, so if you do mistime it like I just did, uh, you will likely bounce in the lava once and then immediately land on it. So it's, it's a little bit of damage, but not too much punishment for it. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything else hidden on that platform. So let's head up to what seems to be the top. And another checkpoint. Only really one way we can go. Okay, then. Oh, let's give it a second. Put on the sprint hat for some reason. So by timing all these right, it's a it's a simple trip around. However, there is still something up there, which means Dweller again, and taking my own advice, Fast Hatter Badge. I took the damage as it was coming up too. Oh. That's not what I meant to do. Oh. Nope, dead. Yeah, it's because I tapped my trigger again and made the platform I'm standing on disappear. Yeah, definitely not the plan you want to take for this area. So yeah, if you wanted to finish, you walk straight up and there's your timings. However, I want this piece of yarn because, once again, we're going to need 32. Um, that's not every yarn in the game, but it is a decent chunk of them. And we finally got our first timepiece of the area. Sorry about the long part, we have cleared the lava cake, and it does not kick us out of the area at this point. We can do all of this in one go. However. Uh, that's going to be where we call this part anyways, so thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.